the report, it was like a comic book report. It was a science fiction comic book or something like that. It would be very special. You know what type of products, but uh, maybe uh, this is in selling us. So we need to have other kinds of products to take place. Mm-hmm. So sometimes in these places, we need some support. support. And then with the internet, we have um, a lot of digital products that are um, going online and are mm-hmm. almost for free. We don't talk about them. We have music and books and books and these and stuff. Um, to make the first option, to make the first part to go to space and talk to them. So I'm going to do some case and do that for them and everything and so forth. And to make them um, one copy of 10,000 copies of it, it doesn't cost you any more because it's just a digital product. So um, we have a lot of these kinds of products on the internet. And the distribution of digital products are almost for free because um, the customer pays for 10 thousand. And then the, the people on the free that they have to get the phone to the to the service. But they don't need to get how many products they have to get to from how many customers they have to get to the service. So if you sell, there's very low, um, almost zero cost to the distribution of the digital products. The average cost is just And then um, we have. Um, through search engines, you can easily find products. So expensive marketing is not needed. So we don't have to have uh, sales for the store out to do it and sell something. We have people that are able to find products and sell it through search engines. And then how uh, there is uh, this gives an opportunity for a new product. Um, the product that is going to be small group. Um, <laughs> so the, the first kind of um, digital products like the music and but this can also apply to other types of products as well. So we have, um, and it may even apply to services that surround the product. So we might have a specification for this region, which is uh, for consumers, and this boat uh, that goes along the boat of Norway. Um, it's a typical that people take the boat and go down to the boat. But there may be special services that surrounding the product. That can be um, made with uh, digital products. And um, this can kind of apply to any type of product. We think that it's very flexible. Uh, there may be um, after sales support for the company or um, some kind of customer review comparing different types of products. So these are all things that we can apply. And what are the hits? And then, um, uh, the hits have been important. Uh, they've been, they're becoming less important today than they were in the past. And, um, um, it becomes uh, more uh, popular to not follow the market. So in the past, when people were, um, maybe they wanted to go out and call, they said, this point, uh, and, and maybe people were all going to have all the ones at home, but at this point, the system said that uh, maybe um, it's not as possible to be able to say how you differentiate yourself from someone else. So we did not follow the masses, and that, um, this gives opportunities for 
um, were carried at least one time every quarter of the year. <clears throat> so, how many do you think that these 10,000 selections were carried at least one time every quarter of the year? And what do we know? We know that as part of the Egyptian book story, has less than one star in the course of the year. If you have foreign times of books, at least half of those have only been, have been put less than one point copy of them for the year in the course of the year. So we're about to take an exclusive concept. And the same goes for the uh, music and TV and so forth. Um, this is the last last thing um, in the selection in the long list in 10 seconds. Okay. Two seconds. Okay. Yes, there is some of it. And we'll put it. And um, because I. Uh, the audience is much broader too. It's not just the selection of this study, but there's this 10,000 things study. So it's like everybody can come from everywhere and look at this. It's potentially much broader. So um, <coughs> if you have a typical store in Molden, you only have about 24,000 people, then you might go into that store and probably a lot less. But if you have something online, you have essentially anyone that has a computer and internet to go on. But the food base of sites is complicated. Mm. But uh, I made a, I made a edition of a book in 2009. And we sold, we produced this uh, up here in the local academic publishing company. Typically, they use this bag to use, like, they, they produce about 160 copies of the book. And then when they, when somebody publishes the pen, because they don't have to sell that much. And uh, this book is written in extensive uh, case studies from different people. And uh, so I, I, we, we went into this agreement in a they sold maybe like 300 copies or something, and they sold like another couple hundred copies. And then they said, can we put it online? Is it still going up? And then it's like every year, it keeps selling. Not a lot, but like it keeps selling. And it doesn't, it's not like a big difference from year to year. <laughs> and I was like, that's because suddenly it's not just people that um, get the list from this publisher. It goes directly to Amazon somehow. And then um, it's added. People might come across it in Facebook. And then they say, okay, maybe it's just the place becomes less important and there's a time that you could decide that. Like even with the, this long tail book. At first, I was going to, um, I was going to, uh, I found it online and I thought, oh, this is free. And I thought, Hmm, am I going to print it? No, I don't think so. I can get it online. I can just look at what I need to look at. And I thought, am I going to save it on my PC? And I said, no, I'm not going to save it on my PC because I can get it anytime I want to. And that's like, uh, so it's, it's, it's created, that's like another selling model, it's created another model where people can get it anytime they want. Okay, so, um, so what does this mean? Um, it means that they can sell 40,000 copies in a year. That's uh, something that is not particularly popular and that um, would normally not be worth taking up the price. Essentially 40,000 sales. And in a world uh, where it's almost uh, free, um, to uh, to create and distribute and search 
from the foreign post to 1,000 CDs on the shelf. They have to make sure that most of these CDs are posted. Otherwise, they are losing money. Uh, but uh, this is uh, the only one that I've seen the stuff on the shelf. You can wear anything when it's um, any physical part. And then there's a coupling set, which so that there is a bit before the 1980, which is about climbing in the Andes Mountains in Peru. And um, yeah, they said that it only sold so oh, yeah, it inside of that. And then in 1998, 10 years later, there's another book. I was proud to be in Tony Sun Pedro, and that became a best friend. So then, what Amazon does is they put these um, they have links on them and you insert things. In. So when you purchase one, or when you search on one, you said other people have also bought this. And uh, because they put this in association, then people looked at the other book. And then the other book started to sell more. So even though it was made in 1988, it actually became popular again and became more popular than the one that was recently done for it. So there's, um, there's a couple of uh, six up here, and it's uh, this is my book. And so there's about some anything happening. I think if I list this with other books, it would be people giving something. Maybe somebody said, oh, I like the picture in this book. I think I'll look at it. I need to mind. Oh, maybe there's something here. I need to try to get it. But they wouldn't do this because they wouldn't know about it. They weren't searching for something. Hmm. Um, and so it says that the CD for the more warm up school can carry something like 1,000 CDs. And um, the first, the most popular one contributes the most to the sound. Uh, and uh, so in the case of the last to be reaching up to 100, 100 million plus can become available. So the same uh, in the formal case. Uh, they can only offer um, a list of things in for the Rhapsody. Uh, they can offer up some things from this. Um, that's what they really download for Rhapsody. And this is the uh, um, 25,000 to 100,000. It's still selling the Russian dates of each track. And then when they get out to um, Eight hundred thousand. Um, they still sell um, several these stuff. So for everything under the curve, it's around fifteen percent. And then this is kind of uh, interesting. We have something. Um, and then it's typical one size total of fifty five thousand pounds. That are not available in the old time research. So the part that got to be started is uh, that the amount of alcohol here is 40%, 40 of it, that it's not available to people. And then the other thing that got to be started is that the amount of alcohol here is 40%, 40 of it, that it's not available to people. And then the next 21% of that comes from stuff that's not available here, which is in black. And for Amazon, 25% of the stuff comes from um, what's not available here, which is in a typical picture. So these are big portions of it that are. Um, I guess if you look in that um, online book,